Need a lot of ports? Here's a 9-in-1 USB-C dock for your Mac or your PC. Is it any good? All right, welcome back to my channel. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and review. This is actually gonna be called, I think it's either the IK Ling or the iCling. I have no idea. I'll put it down here. You guys have to figure out how to say it. I have no idea. Anyways, it's another uh, mini USB type C dock. The reason why this is kind of unique is because it does have nine in one, so it's nine different ports. A couple of them are more legacy ports, or you have to get kind of creative of why you'd actually want them, maybe for a projector or something, so we'll get into that. It's a little bit different than what I usually show you. Obviously, I go through a lot of different hubs on my channel. Um, I just like to show you, you know, the way my, my channel works is I'm just gonna show you the product and tell you what I think my initial you know, results are of using it without using it for two years or something. I'm just gonna tell you what I think about it and for the cost. This is around $25 and I'll have a link in the description if you guys wanna pick one up. But without further ado, we're just gonna get into it. I'm gonna show you the ports, what does this include, all the different ports, the speeds, you know, the, the hertz and everything else. And then I'll just let you know, I mean, has it worked for me okay or has it been a disaster? <laughs> we're gonna figure that out. Um, so stay tuned, just watch it. It'll just go through quickly. I'm gonna show you a close up of this in a second. Let's get into it, let's go. All right, so here's the hub actually on Amazon. You can pick it up there. I'll have a link in the description. The one thing I wanted to show you is just look how many reviews, over almost 12,000 reviews and it's got like a 4.6 rating, so really good. It's $25.49 right now, but that fluctuates a little bit. Here's the box. Now the box is constructed out of like a thick cardboard, so I was actually surprised. Usually it comes in that kind of Chinese packaging. This box was actually really nice. It also comes with a little carrying case, you know, nothing spectacular, but it's at least it's something that you get with it. And then you get these little warranty cards and like free gifts and stuff, which all these things seem to come with for some reason. So here's the actual device itself. It's iKling or IK Ling. You tell me. I have no idea. Just want to show you a couple of shots of it and how it looks, and I'll get into the size of it in a second. But it is a space gray, which matches my Mac, you know, 2020 MacBook really well. And uh, here it is in my hand, so you can see the, the relative size of it. And it does have all the labels for the ports, which is really nice. And I'll show you what those are in a second. And uh, compared to my, uh, this is a 2020 13-inch MacBook Pro, just to show you the comparison for size. And you can see the color. The color matches really well, which is really nice. So it's exactly the same color as the blacks and the grays and the whites so if you like if you're into that then that matters that's that's something it is a USB type C and that's obviously why it's working with my MacBook Pro that's the connection type in and uh, so we're gonna go ahead and connect this and we'll show you what the ports are all about and everything else uh, in a second here but I also wanted to throw in one last thing I did try it with my Dell really quickly and uh, you know actually a little bit more than quickly but it worked really well on the Dell so it's compatible with both Mac and PC all right, let's get into the ports. It does have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, which is there on the left. It has an HDMI port, and that's gonna be 4K at 30 hertz, so 4K at 30 hertz. And then it has the unusual one is the VGA display port up to 1080p at 60 hertz. And that might be good for like a projector or something. That's a legacy port that's nice. Then it has a SD card slot, a micro SD card slot, and then it has two USB 3.0 type A, and those are up to five gigabits per second. So those are very useful and overall, you know those are a lot of ports but it actually has a few more on the uh, on the end so on the end it has the uh, one gigabit per second ethernet port and then it has a, a basically a USB-C but that's a power charging port up to 60 watts so you can actually charge your MacBook off of that really cool really nice for the cost so here it is again it's just a quality build you know it's it's aluminum it's not I guess the strongest aluminum it has some plastic bits but overall for 25 bucks you can't beat this it has those legacy ports which are really nice you know audio jack which is unusual ethernet and the you know the display port which is unusual to have so if you need those and then you want to spend 25 bucks I recommend this all right so let's wrap this video up so would I recommend this um, so far so good I mean it's definitely worked for me okay it does get a little warm in some cases I've had nothing and I haven't had any major issues with it haven't really you know gone crazy with it but I've used it to you know the you know what I consider my, my daily use it's got some of these ports so why would you pick this up it's got the VGA port which is unique you know that's obviously unique it's got an Ethernet port gigabit per second Ethernet port it's also got the charging port USB-C charging and then it's also got this this audio out port which you know again I'm not exactly sure why you'd need that but there, there's probably a use case out there. Plus it has, you know, HDMI and everything. Else. So if you want those ports and you need, you know, you just want one hub instead of buying a couple different ones, like, you know, I have a ton of them because I do reviews. 
Um, you just want one. This is not bad. The build quality, like I said, it's aluminum. It's got a little bit of plastic in it. I mean, it doesn't, it's aluminum, but it doesn't seem like it's a tank. I mean, it, it obviously is better than plastic. So, you know, do I recommend the IK Ling or the I cling. I have no idea how to say it yet. But anyways, you guys tell me what how to say it in the description or in the notes. At the end of the day, though, you know, it's worked good for me. I haven't had any major issues or major flaws with it. Would I recommend it for $25? Sure. I mean, it's definitely going to be something that is for $25, you know, even if it lasts a year or two, you know, what, what do you expect, right? You're not buying a $200 hub here. So I recommend it, you know, as best I can. I'm not, you know, supported by them. They don't, they didn't send this to me or anything like that. So I just use it. I buy it and just tell you my honest opinion. So is it okay? Yes. Is it, is it the best out there? No. So, um, 25 bucks. It's what is that? A couple cups of coffee at, at Starbucks or something. So not too bad. Give it a shot. Um, if you guys like my channel, definitely subscribe, help me grow it. I just do a lot of products like this, you know, just to help people out, just to show you what it's like before you buy it. I buy it. And I have a bunch of these now sitting in my house with no use, but one of these days, um, maybe I'll do a giveaway or something. Talk to you soon. Peace.